angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his word and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to be fulfilled. The angel left her. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. Rescue.org estimates that over 100 million people have now been forcibly displaced worldwide as a result of ongoing conflicts and crises in countries like Ukraine, Gaza, Israel, Afghanistan, and Yemen. This accounts for an increase of 10.7 million people displaced from the end of the previous year. What happens to refugees when they leave their country? Many are guided into large, bare bones, temporary resettlement camps or shanty towns. They work in underground markets. They get food and supplies from aid agencies, and they wait, sometimes indefinitely, for better options to arise.
and there were shepherds living out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those who his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. 50% of refugees are women and girls. Pregnant women and new mothers among displaced populations face additional risks due to inadequate access to prenatal care, safe delivery services, and postnatal care. Complications during pregnancy and childbirth become more dangerous without proper medical attention. The UN Refugee Agency reports that of the 100 million people who have been forced into displacement, over half are women and girls. In addition to facing the direct threat of violence resulting from conflict, forcibly displaced children also face various health risks, including disease outbreaks and long-term psychological trauma, inadequate access to water and sanitation, nutritious food, health care, and regular vaccination schedules.
during the time of King Herod Magnus. During the time of King Herod Magi, from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? He saw his star when it rose and had come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests, teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. This coming winter will be very challenging for millions of people forced to flee their homes around the world. Steep rises in the cost of basic commodities like food and fuel, combined with the climate crisis and ongoing effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, are forming a triple threat. Many refugees and displaced families will have to face winter struggling to keep warm. It's crucial for governments, humanitarian organizations, and communities to work together to provide the necessary support and resources to help refugees and displaced families navigate these challenging winter conditions. In his blessing on December 25th, 2014, Pope Francis said, Dear brothers and sisters, may the Holy Spirit today enlighten our hearts that we may recognize in the infant Jesus, born in Bethlehem of the Virgin Mary, the salvation given by God to each one of us, to each man and woman, and to all the peoples of the earth. May the power of Christ, which brings freedom and service, be felt in so many hearts afflicted by war, persecution, and slavery. May this divine power, by its meekness, take away the hardness of heart of so many men and women immersed in worldliness and indifference, the globalization of indifference. May his redeeming strength transform arms into plowshares, destruction into creativity, hatred into love and tenderness, 
Then we will be able to cry out with joy, Our eyes have seen your salvation. Thank you. 